So we got the chill deadlift day. Set to five. People always ask me, you know, like, Kev, what are you doing? Why do you pull sumo? Like, you're pulling like a pussy. I don't pull sumo by choice. Um, I pull it because I have to. You know what I mean? A lot of people like me um, just have really big meat. You know what I mean? Like, I literally have to tie my shit around my waist just so that it's not dropping out of my sweatpants. You know what I'm saying? So if I were to pull conventional, since, like, what I'm working with is just so, like, massive, like, python level you know what i mean like straight universal level like if i whip this shit out it could level a whole city a universe um i just can't pull conventional you know it would get smashed up if i did that so i gotta just pull sumo so that i can be comfortable you know what i'm saying um maybe if i had like a a little pecker you know i can manage conventional but nah nah we have to pull sumo i'm not i'm not choosing to do so it's like i'm trying to tell you like if i do conventional like Dude, it just pinches everything in there. Like, I, I have to pull sumo. I don't really have a choice. Oh, dude, it feels so much better. Um... Maybe if I'm ever having a day where the weight feels too light and I want to make it harder for myself, I can do that. But just for the sake of like not going home with my little guy, you know, bruised and black and blue, I got to pull sumo. It's just annoying, dude. Like our boy Ryan brought up a good point. Like there's this dude on TikTok who does like braids and he's like, if you don't know how to braid, hit that follow button. And he never, ever fucking shows you how to braid. Ever, dude. If he potentially sees this, teach us. Stop saying to follow you if we don't know how to braid. Fucking show us a tutorial, dude. Make a video and show us how to fucking braid. No more fucking clickbait, dude. Just do it. Just do it like how I'm about to do this way. Dude, I'm telling you, dude. If you don't know how to pull 225, Fucking hit that subscribe button. Let me stop. Say a little prayer. Dear Lord, I pray that the deadlifts today um, are good. You know, and if they are bad, if they don't go the way that I want them to, that I can still learn something from them um, so that next deadlift day can be a lot better. But yeah, I pray that that weight is moving today. Amen. If you don't know how to fucking pray, you gotta hit that subscribe button. And if you ain't in that 315, you don't know how to do it, hit that subscribe button. So I know some of you are going to be like, why the fuck am I chalking it down during a warm up? Because I want to try pulling hook grip. Hook grip something I want to get into um, just because I don't want to get into the habit of just using straps every single time that I go heavy. You know, and then also by not using straps as much and pulling heavy shit without them, my forearms will get stronger which is a bonus, you know, you get that like nice aesthetic to where when people look at your forearms, you're like, wow, that guy probably jacks off like 20 hours a day. So it would be nice to have that aesthetic. So we're gonna practice pulling hook grip. I think, I know hook grip is supposed to be like a go to grip, but I think it will help your forearms. If you're pulling that way instead of using straps, it's, it's gotta help somewhat because even though it is like a good grip to use, like, I mean, you still got to engage the forearms to, like, hold it. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. You let me guys know how much hook grip probably does help out with your forearms. But we're chasing that heating off for 20 hours aesthetic. Dude, 
I'm going back to using straps for today. I fucking pulled that for one. And like the skin on my thumbs feels like it's about to fucking rip off, dude. I got to build up to that shit. Like, I think maybe I should just like do like the light warm ups hook grip and then like the light cool downs hook grip. But like, nah, man, I had no business doing that fucking hook grip. Dude, I gotta get like hook grip down because I feel like such a bitch when I use these, dude. Like, whew. but yeah, we gotta get that hook grip down. I just like, yo, know, if anybody knows like any tips on hook grip, you gotta, you gotta help me out. But I think what it is is just I'm not used to it yet. So obviously my thumbs are getting fucked up because they're not used to like the wear and tear of hook grip. So maybe you know I do just need to like ease into it. You know what I mean, like practice it during my uh, warm downs and my warm up and then build myself up to the point where I'm doing my working sets with hook grip, you know? So. So we got on the first set, working with that 485. Bro, can anyone else like, let me know if you ever feel like this? But I don't know what it is. Maybe I just like take extra long to like warm up my muscles. I don't know. Maybe that's the way my body works. But every fucking time I like go for my first working set um, for three by fives and three by threes, the first set always just feels like mad fucking heavy. And I have no idea why. But enough with the fucking chit chat. We're about to plug in, listen to some Lady Gaga and make this look like a pussy late. See, like that first set felt a little rough for me. You know what I mean? I don't feel too rough, you know, because it is pussy weight, but like it felt a little rough. Dude, last set. We got on the five hundo. It's not gonna be an all-time PR though, because um during my times of like Hitting on weight for the last set. I've made it up to, I think, like five, like something crazy. I think the most I've ever gotten for five was like 565. Um, but the thing is, I reset the progressive overload because <sighs> I'm gonna try to explain this like as quickly and as fast as possible. Um, but I do percentage training, you know? So for the three by five that we have today, I'm not just doing random weight, I'm doing 80% of my max. So what happens when I get a new max? is the weight that I do for three by five goes up, you know? So for example, if like my max is like 605 right now. So this is, uh, I was doing 80% of 605, but when I max out and get like 615, right? Then for my three by five, I'm doing 80% of 615. So when that happens and I go up in weight, I reset the progressive overload, you know? So I start from ground zero. Um, and then, yeah, once I get to a point where we're, you know, solid with our three by fives, I start adding on weight for the last set of five for progressive overload. So you reset everything. So this is going to be the first time that we've gone up on the last set of five. So I'm going up to 500. So it's not going to be an all time rep PR, but it will be a volume PR. That's um, your little technical lifting lesson for today. Um, I'm Professor Kev, and I will see you next time for the next lesson. We are going to make this weight bend to our will. You know what I mean? First, we're going to break it down mentally by caressing it, wrapping the straps around it, choking it out. And then once it submits, we're going to show it who's really boss and then pick it the fuck up, dude. Drop it down on its fucking neck. You know what I mean? Like, if you listen closely, you'll be able to hear the weight dropping on its neck each rep. 
just cracking that shit up. And then by the time we're done with her, it's gonna be my bitch. I know you saw that pause on the last one. Got a little fancy with it, you know what I'm saying? We're good. If you ain't pulling 225, you straight pussy, man. You're a pussy if you can't.